Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to the best mm. night mm. of mm. your mm. life. Mm. Woo! <laughs> you have entered the J spot. Well, we are strengthening relationships and families one conversation at a time on intellectualradio.com. We are an iHeart station. I'm your host, Jay. And sitting next to me, we have my co host, my partner in crime, sizzling, sexy, simply E. Author, actress, businesswoman, playwright. Sex kitten. Hey, E, how you doing today? Next week is when I'll be a sex kitten. Just, what? Yes, thank you. Won't he do it? See, that's what I'm saying. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't <laughs> let me be out here bad. You know, I surely appreciate it, but people you know. will let you be. You know what? I, You know, I try not to be one of those people. I had a whole hole in my crotch, like not like in the seat part of the crotch. It was like right in the front, like where the zipper would be, because these pants didn't have zippers. And I went and the well, my, my coworker came and brought me some stuff. And I'm up above and he's climbing up the ladder to bring me some stuff. And my whole cootie, like, hey, how you doing? Oh, it was he waiting told to me be nothing. Jeez, my man, what, what if he wasn't looking down at me? He ain't had no choice. It was right at his face. <laughs> Cooch was right there, like, hey, how you doing? He was Sam like, like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I had drawn some, but it's not the point. It's the point that that whole time nobody told me anything. She was, she right? felt butthole naked. And and ain't nobody said nothing. Twenty minutes later, I was like, something don't feel right, and I knew that you I was. You uh, air? You, I knew I had like a, a a tear. You know how you have a, a rip in your stocking or whatever, and there's a run. Well, these are jeans, so jeans are not supposed to run. Well, it was a run in my jean in the front, and these ain't even stretchy jeans. They just was jeans. And mm. I looked down, and a little lady that was sitting on the bench, she looked at me, and I looked at her, and she was like, oh, that was like, oh. And I'm trying to. <laughs> you like, listen, a thousand people are saying hi to my hoo-ha, yes. and ain't nobody said nothing to me. Ain't nobody well, pay me for it or nothing. Well, I'm glad that you got it together mm, today, guys. Sweet. Listen, we want to thank you all so much for tuning in. Hey, my little cuz tuned in. Janola, how you doing? Thank you guys so much. Please do me a favor, you all. Go to our page and like our page at the J-Spot. Follow us on Twitter at J-Spot. J-Spot. Also, follow us on Instagram at the J-Spot Radio. And J is spelled J-A-Y-E for all three. Now, listen, while you at it, go ahead on around the corner, down the street. Go to YouTube. Please do me a favor. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I got a little bit. That's what it is. You do that too. What is that? YouTube. On YouTube. And our YouTube channel is the J Spot Radio. You guys, please subscribe today. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. You know what? I'm just going to tell y'all. We're going to blow up. And for mm-hmm. we we gonna blow up. That's what I'm telling y'all. We gonna blow up. So we are gonna be up in here cracking. But first, we need y'all to help us to get to our first thousand, so we can go ahead and blow up on YouTube like we blowing up on Facebook. You know, Instagram. You know, listen. It's, it's it is what it is, you all. But listen, thank you all so much. Listen, tonight's episode is being brought to you by Two Level Up LLC. They are our sponsors. Two bedroom luxurious condo ratch. Next to the United Center. You all, it's so much stuff that's going on in the city of Chicago. So definitely, if you are looking to travel, if you are looking to have like a girls' night, mm. a little, you know, listen. Bachelor party. Listen, we are have we're about to have some nice little things, uh, some little uh networking events because we haven't had any of those in the past few years, thanks, COVID. But listen. We are back, so we are going to be having some things. So please 
Watch, turn your notifications on so you don't miss it. We're also being brought to you by Delaware Inc. He has his spring t-shirts out. As you see, I'm in a sweater because it's still cold outside. Listen, I put my boots on. She did. And she gonna, he gonna tell me. <laughs> she was like, you gonna, you just gonna show your age. I said, listen, it's cold out here. It's still raining and you still need your coat on. So I'm just like, I don't know. My feet cold. You don't need right. your coat. It's, yeah. it's hot outside. It's not hot. It's like 47. I had a sweater. And she had a whole coat. winter coat on. Sure do. Sure do. I can listen. I don't play these type of games with this weather. So mm -hmm. until yesterday was a nice day. In the today we wake up with this bull John. See, I say I'm so mm -hmm. glad I, I did not put my coat up. I ain't even put my coat up. So that's just how that's gonna be. But guys, listen, we're also being brought to you by BK the Barber. He tell them what how to get their page. Three thousand. Oh, their page is on Facebook. Um, BK the Barber and Freelance Barbershop. Also follow BK the Barber on Instagram. Um, if you're in the Houston area, go to 3000 Spring Cypress Road. Spot, yep. Spring Cypress Road in Houston, Texas, 773-888. Sweet D, look for BK the Barber at Freelance Barbershop. And you all the, use reference code J-A-Y-E for all three of our sponsors on tonight. And we'll have their links dropped in the comments tonight. 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 Listen, you know what? I'm going to tell y'all something. He got me all thrown off track. I was so <laughs> nervous that I wasn't going to be able to get to get my coffee. I was just like, I could not focus. I don't even know if I locked my door. <laughs> Out the door so, I'm trying to run out the door so fast and get my coffee. I'm like, you know what? This one got me all just all on track. I'm just like, I was not a good host at all today. I she had her music playing. I, you know, I was busy. So I had to run to her house to take a shower and stuff. And then I was like, okay. She just playing her 90s music. Like, okay, yeah, we could just do this. Okay. And then the clock struck. I was like, you oh. Are, you, you hurried up at the <laughs> You finished yet up in <laughs> Now, I'm not, you are, I'm not really like that, you know, but I got a one track man when it comes to, listen, when it comes to coffee, I'm like, she could have came, she could have had all the time in the she world until it's time hour. You right to, the street, like, what's the problem? I need to get my coffee. <laughs> this late in the game? Yes. I drink iced coffee at five in the evening. Woo! And I drink. All I'm saying is, I'm, you know, you have to charge that. You really got to charge, charge that to my head, head and not to my heart because I'm I like, hate as, God, soon, okay. as soon as I got my coffee, I was like, dang, you know what? I say, I'm going to need to really get myself together. I'm like, I walked in, I seen other people standing around and I didn't even, this is just how in the zone I was. I'm like, dang, it didn't even occur to me to ask them was they standing in line waiting because the guy you know he saw me coming here in already he already, he already Jay, know him. here you go boo. don't he? it's like in the movies you know how you just they just you see the person just go up to the front line and be like here you go and they be like deuces peace i'll catch you next week tomorrow god same time same blend that's how that's and that's exactly how it was when he seen me walk all along i'm like dang oh shoot i said you know i got to tell these people i'm sorry you know for button and then the lady was pregnant i was just like oh man yeah, i'm blinded. really slipping i really got to get myself together but guys listen i'm back you know focused better than ever we have a great show lined up for you all tonight we're gonna get started with our first hot topic listen first of all we want to say happy mother's day in advance to oh, all man. of the mothers uh for this weekend you all definitely happy mother's day if you don't you know if your mom is not here definitely happy heavenly um mother's day to your mother and you know ladies listen just you know relax a bit you know do whatever it is that you like that makes you happy and you know you all listen treat the mothers right even if a woman has not given birth i believe that women play a mother's role in you know a lot of capacities even if they have never physically given birth you know a lot of women we just are nurturers by you know we're by nature we're just nurturers so I'm, by nature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with you so definitely happy mother's day i definitely hope that you all enjoy and you know just try to take a load off and you know listen let's just take a moment to just be kind. Listen, we can do without all of the negativity. 
Now listen, I'm, I'm I'm under the thought that if you don't have nothing good to say, then don't say nothing at all. If you don't think, if you think your baby mama is raggedy and trifling, guess what? You chose it, so this is not the day. This is not the weekend to you know to bring that to her attention. You should have thought this that is. You knew you was trifling. <laughs> I didn't want no baby by you. What? You know you cut the hole in the cup. <laughs> That's why you don't wish me happy Mother's Day, but I'm trying to still fight the child support. <laughs> so you don't listen. So this is not the time. Just like when Father's Day come, we want to spend, you know, we want to speak positivity. We want to speak life. And if we can't necessarily do those things, then just let's not, let's not say anything at all. But, you know. I don't try to say <laughs> much or nothing. I, I want to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. Now listen, first, before we get started into our hot topics, I get some celebrity news that I want to just talk about and see what you guys think. You know, everybody is talking about it. It seems like every time something juicy happens, it always happens like on a Monday. So we got to wait yeah, all the way to Thursday to juicy. talk about it. You know, we're going to probably it's start jumping good. on live and start it's talking good. about it as it happens. But this Dave Chappelle, alleged Dave Chappelle attack what do you all i heard about something like think that. about that oh so listen the guy yeah, <laughs> okay so he alleged and i have to say these and i'm gonna do the air quotes because you know facebook be on my end you all facebook be on just man the slightest i don't even know if i can even say their name that's just how much they be on me but so the guy, you know, Dave Chappelle, he's performing for a Netflix special. Mm -hmm. And then it's like out of nowhere, fam just like spearheads him like he one of these, like he's a wrestler. And, you know, he takes uh, Dave down. But listen, he ain't no Dave here, you know, them hands. Yeah, you know, Dave, Dave ain't no punk. He ain't the skinny Dave like you want to say. You know, so he, he gave him. But his security team. Molly whopped that ass on. The entire. When I tell you, fam, listen, they... This, this, they, they couldn't even lay him down on a stretcher. They, listen, they got fam. His shoulder is sitting in his chest, baby. When I tell you, I was just like, how do you, you know? So he yeah, said they had he to wanted. Sit, they had to sit the stretcher up, and he had to sit <laughs> like his whole, like literally. I'm turning around, fam, sitting straight like this, and his shoulder is right here. And now it's in his chest place. So I know as he's sitting in a full body cast now, he's thinking back over his life. And he's mm -hmm. wondering if that particular, you know, if that particular right move right. was even worth And guess what? He, it, was a, it was one of us. So you know. You know. Like, like what? Fam, I'm just trying to figure out. He could just. And please, and I don't want people to say, oh, Will Smith opened the door for that because Will Smith did not open the door for that. People have been running up on stage and doing crazy-ish for a long time. So you have had deranged fans. You don't know what this guy's problem was. But I can promise you one thing. He won't do that the, way that, the way that they, you know, listen, the way that they dealt with that situation. Will he do it again? If anybody run up, listen, everybody should have security like that. You know, that they will. Listen, will, you should not will Chris. <laughs> yeah. Them <He's> brothers, <laughs> them brothers, they did. <laughs> listen, I'll be like, raises for everybody. Raises for everybody. Everybody get a raise. I was like, you know, after that Will Smith issue, we ain't going to have to listen. Y'all even see someone's eyebrow go up. Look like they want to come up here. You mm. look like, like they used to say back in the day, if you want some static, mm. listen, they gave this brother all the static that he can handle. So I don't condone all this violence, but hey, listen, that, listen, that was your blessing. You walked into your destiny with that one, baby. So you walked, you took your head up there. Listen, you wrote a check and they cashed it. So you that's all I'm said. saying. The man should never took his butt up there on the stage. That's all I'm saying. He he wrote a check mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. happily cashed it for him. You know, so now you want, here you that's are. What, and see, you now listen, mm -hmm. my thing is this too. See, what he didn't see, stuff like this, you have to think things through. Mm -hmm. So now, hopefully, he has insurance, medical insurance, because if he does not. Now here you are, you finna walk around with this shoulder in your chest because see, all the regular all the doctor is responsible for doing is Putting saving your up. life. Yeah. You know, so they not 
Their, their job is not to, because now that's going to be plastic surgery. If that shoulder ain't hitting any arteries and it's not, you know, if that's not affecting your life, then listen, you finna be sitting up here walking, looking around, got a pumpkin head in your, in your shoulder, in your chest. So, you know, listen, you all, we got to do better and let's stop taking these, listen, these celebrities for granted because people run up on them. All the time they don't say realize anything. These people regular people do too. They, right. Dave Chappelle works out. Okay, he works out. Yeah, they said he was with some trainer. of that um, MMA. Hmm. <laughs> he, you know, that's what they fail to realize. Oh, they just a celebrity. These people got their own personal trainer. They work out every day or every other day, whatever. They got somebody to make their own meals and stuff. Dave Chappelle is not the little skinny Dave Chappelle when he first came out. You know, when he was dealing with Martin Lawrence, he was like mm -hmm. about that big. He done picked up some weight. He ain't even the Chappelle from the Chappelle show. He done picked up some weight. So you know he been working out. Why would you play that? Why would why would you do that? Well, I just want to keep this man lifted. Whatever his name is, we just definitely mm -hmm. want to keep his mind lifted. <laughs> Don't do that no more. So, you know, he needs to sit down because somebody lifted him up and helped him hurl on that stage like a man. Man, like just crazy. So definitely, you all, we just have to be mindful and just... You know, look out for one another. And listen, if you have beef with somebody, listen, you ain't got, listen, here's my thing. If you don't like them, don't support them. Don't watch their stuff. Don't go to their shows. That's your way of saying, you know, I don't agree with what this person is saying or what they're doing. But to go up and to try to physically attack someone, you have no right to do that just because you don't like what it is that they're doing. Okay, I've said my piece. So guys, listen, our first, first hot topic. So it's Mother's Day weekend. Ladies, is it okay for your significant other, your man, your husband, your boo, is it okay for him to buy his baby mama or his ex-wife a Mother's Day gift if the children are underage? If they not out working and they can't do nothing and buy anything for the mother, oh, yeah. is it? how do you guys feel? Is it okay for him to buy the you know the the mother of his children a gift for mother's day is it okay for is he up on his child support well i don't know but he's just trying to buy a gift <laughs> that's a legitimate thing i mean aisha what do you guys think about that is that okay or would you feel some type of way if he buys the mother of his kids uh a mother's day gift how do you what do you think about that is we're not we're not even gonna touch child support is it okay if he buy the mother a Mother's Day gift. If the kids are underage, or would you have a problem with that? Like, what are you buying her some for? You know, would you have a problem with that? Why you? No. <laughs> with that type of voice right there, I know. <laughs> Janella, she said yes. Why, Janella? Why would you have a problem well, with that? that? I think she oh. said that it's okay. Oh, it's, it's okay. okay. So yeah. my thing is, listen. That's a good gesture. To me, that him buying a gift says that they have a healthy relationship. There is no beef between them. So it's just like, listen, because listen, some, listen, ladies, some of us, come on, come on close. For those of us that have a hard time with this mm -hmm. because we see it as, well, what do you want to buy her some? Because she gave birth to his kids. That's why. The DNA test these children first. What if he, he whether he DNA them or not, DNA, you know, so he claiming them. them. So it's like, why not have a peaceful relationship? Why are we not, you know, promoting peace and promoting a man being with his kids? Because here's the deal: it's like I've always been under the, the thought that if he's not taking care of something that has his half of his blood running through their veins, what is he gonna do with me? If we get together, you not even taking care of what you created. Now, you know that these are yours. There's no question about it. But you still choose you know not is. to be there. You know I would have a problem with that. I'm like, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be able to condone and co-sign all of this deadbeat daddy-ish. But it's a good gesture. So I would not have a problem with him, you know, buying something for the mother for Mother's Day. I wouldn't have a problem if he got a, you know, a gift period, her birthday, Christmas. I would not have a problem with that because, again, we're cool. Just because we didn't make it, the marriage didn't work or the relationship didn't work, doesn't mean that we have to be enemies. We just wasn't for each other. We're doing it for the kids. It's a healthy 
outlook for the kids. And guess what? The kids are going to be happier. The kids are going to be healthier. The kids are going to be more well-rounded. You know why? Because they're not caught up in grown-up beef. They're not hearing the mama at home on the phone talking about you like a two-legged dog. They're not here. They're not around you hearing you run your, you know, run them, run their mama down. You know, talking about, you know, calling her the street walker that you may think she is. You know, they don't have to deal with any of that. So. Um, Aisha Mama says, I think it's a good suggestion. Um, Janelle says, I can't be with no man that doesn't respect her mother, the children's mother. Aisha also says, I think it's a, an appreciation for caring for his children. And then Dee says, she ain't my mom. <laughs> she also might get mad at me one day and use it against me knowing that I'm in a relationship. Mm. And my girl, and my girl is going to be mad. Well, why would your girl be mad? See, this is the thing. This is what you're you're telling your girl. I mean, like it's not a, it's secret, not a secret to your girl that you're buying your children's mother a gift. It's like it shouldn't be a secret. If and here's the thing, ladies, if he has to keep this a secret from you, what type of home and what type of relationship and what type of environment do you have this man coming into where he cannot? Just out of a goodwill, the goodwill, the kindness of his heart, if he feels like he has to hide something like that from you because he don't feel like hearing your mouth. It's certain things that we just listen. These, this, this, he's his kids. You knew that he had kids when you got into the relationship. So if you can't respect the relationship that he has with his kid's mother, then don't get involved with it. Like, I know it was this guy I was talking to, you know, we was getting to know each other getting to know you getting to know me and i didn't you know he would always tell me about how he was with his kid's mother i personally i was uncomfortable with the way he was like his his involvement mm -hmm. it was too much like you know um buying houses like you she got to stay in a certain area she got he was just too... Well, she has his children. But he was just too in the mix. It's just like, let her find out where she wants to move and, you know... But he's looking at it as these are his children. He wants his children to be in a certain area because he wants to make sure that they're safe. Those are his children. His kids weren't little. And so... That's even worse because when they become teenagers... No, his kids, the kids was grown. It was just one little one. And so I'm just like, I, I personally, and here's the deal. Did I say something to him? Hey, no, because that's not my place. Again, this was getting to know you, getting to know me. Mm -hmm. I saw that and I knew that that was not something that I wanted to willingly sign up for. I'm not trying to change how he is with his kids or his kids. Who am I to do that? Mm -hmm. That's not my place. My place is to remove myself and not get involved with something that I knew in the long run for me would be a problem. Is it, did I think that anything was, you know, everything wasn't on board? Mm, no, I didn't think that. But the way he was moving, it, to me, it seemed like I'm doing all of this because I need to keep up. That was he was moving like I'm keeping a foot in the door. That's how that was to That's me. How it, yeah. That's how it was to me. So my thing is, it's not my job to tell you not to, you know, that's not I'm like to me, that just was not my place. So what I did was I'm like, okay, let's fade to black and uh, and then now you know everything is all good. You know, like everybody moves on with their life and they do whatever it is that they want to do. But when you see situations like that, assess it and don't be afraid to fall back if that's not your cup of tea. But it's not your place to go in and try to rearrange the dynamics that they have. Yeah. What they say? <laughs> what is he? <laughs> he said, I can't read that. Who? D. D, D is saying, it's not that it's a secret, but also many women will give you the side eye for some mm -hmm. like that. We got to be real with this one. This is not going to go over well with many women. And that's the thing. Why shouldn't it? It's like, we're, again, it's not about me. It's not about her. It's not about. It's about creating a healthy so, environment for the kids. 
if you fast forward to now and say you're in a relationship and the guy has children and stuff and mm -hmm. he gets you know he's involved in his, his children's lives mm -hmm. as your ex was whatever mm -hmm. and he was the same way as far as making sure that they're in the right area and he has a little one you know it's the same scenario but now you're a fast forward to older how would you feel I still if, if it was the same exact scenario that I fell back from I will fall back again because I didn't like I didn't our intuition kicks in my intuition kicked in high gear and said this is some boom it's a little bit more it's it's more it, it's more to meet the eye it's more going on oh, than what you're letting eye. you know what you're letting on legitimately if there's there's nothing going on like there's nothing going on but see no it was it was if it was nothing going on then oh i missed list i missed he's just he's, he's just this type of person there's nothing going, and you don't even feel that you know what it's something going on like you don't even feel that like he's legitimately doing making sure that this is my this is my family this is my children i'm gonna make sure that my children are okay period right and if i didn't get that if i didn't get that crazy feeling then i would have probably see you know pursued it and you know see what happened but I'm glad that I did it because I just, again, it's just the whole situation. It's like still fast forward. We talk, we're cool, but it's like, yeah, you're still like the same old, the same old. And now, yeah, like years later, they had another kid. So it's just like. Well, that may be because <laughs> he, all, he wants all his children to be by the same. Okay, person. but still, so then why put your so why put somebody else in that situation when okay, you want all your kids by one woman? Why you don't marry her? Which I asked them that. You don't want to be with her. I said, why you don't marry her? You got like seven kids with her. Why you don't marry her? Oh, we that's just not gonna work out. Oh, you just gonna keep popping up with babies and she just gonna keep no, hey he bang. Knock y'all stuff out. But again, yeah. when you find that a situation is not for you. It's okay to, you know what I say, this situation is not for me, opposed to trying to change. That's the last thing we can do is change, change people, person. especially re regarding their kids and their relationship with their kids and relationship with their exes. That's why you got to sit up there. You got to put on, listen, you got to put on them bifocals and you got to pay real good. Listen, you have to be inspect the gadget. And just pay attention. Let all of your senses work so that you can see if this is a situation that you want to be involved with. Fellas, the same thing for you. If you're not comfortable with her relationship with her baby daddy or her ex-husband or whatever, you feel like they just too chummy, you know, listen, is it your place to change that relationship? No, but what you can do is get out before you get too attached to the situation knowing that that particular situation is not for you so no it's okay for him to give her a mother's day gift in fact fellas give your your your, your, your the mother of your children give her something nice give her a card give her a box of candy give her something as a nice gesture and you know what listen that could be a shoe in now listen this is for women that have all of that they're using all of the common sense that god gave them and i'm sorry some of you all have just picked the bad you know some of you all have just picked some unreasonable unreachable women i'm sorry it's just some of y'all you got the one she ready to fight every woman that come in your life she ready you know calling the police mm -hmm. on you all the time because she see that you're happy i'm sorry you picked her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry she's like that. I'm sorry that you'll never, you know, have a peaceful relationship until your kids are grown. I'm sorry. But you chose her. So You're always sorry. Always sorry. You's a sorry. See, look, so you almost said stop quoting movies. So I'm um, again, I'm sorry that you chose her, but that's all women are not like that. And I just Refuse to believe that even though, you know, listen, okay, let me go into this. So you all I saw this disturbing video. We have to, we as women, women of color, we have got to do better. There's a video circulating around, baby, they got, it's some, it's some radio contest, I believe, 
where it's called the Bad B Contest. Baby, let me tell you these. Sign me up, girl. Baby, they was out there in groves, droves, groves, all of it. They were out there making just, they had on the tightest, littlest, you know, to me now. And it was somewhere in the South, so it was hot. I, I tell you, I kid you not, I said that video, I would not want to have been nowhere out there. I said, you can smell the perch, baby. Uh, baby, let me tell you, you can smell the perch, you can smell the STDs, you can smell the, you, listen, you can smell all of it. I mean, it was just oozing through the clothes that they did not have on. You got the young ones, you even had some old ones. I'm just like, wait a minute. I'm this, I'm the bad as it be, da 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 da. I'm like, really? We, we got, listen, I'm sorry. We have got to do better. It has it has to be something better that we are attaining to. We have to be attaining to other titles outside of the baddest B. I felt sorry looking at a lot of these young ladies. I felt sorry for my son. I felt sorry for my nephews because these are this is the generation. This is the young ladies that I'm just like. Oh my God, like, what are we doing? And then we got the old ones. I'm like, listen, I'm sorry, because this, I'm sorry, this is just how I'm going to get this one right here. If you, listen, you missed your chance when R. Kelly said, keep it on the download and the freak Nick, you missed that era, okay? If you missed that era, it's time for you to satch down. It's this late, I, it was like two or three, or probably late 40s, early, ma'am, you two, listen. Woo. Mm. We have to do better, but can we please, can we please kill the the let's Nick let's let's ice the 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 bad B and start you know aspiring to be women teaching our girls these because a lot of these young girls today. Woo. It's an actual contest. I'm trying to find. Yes, it. it's a real contest. It's a real contest, and they were signing. Uh, it just totally floored me. I'll send you the link. It floored me. And I'm just like. Did it floor you? It floored me. I'm just like. She has been floored. I've never been floored. Before I've been day. I've been floored. I mean, seeing that. And I'm like, I thought that I've heard it all. But when like I'm. This one. I'm, I'm a bad. We the bad as being. And you, uh, Did they have a Meganese? Well, I couldn't, I mean, because I, I couldn't know. I don't think I seen them. They were in the parking lot waiting to get up into to audition to uh, audition for the contest. And so they were out there. So the cameraman, he was telling them, <coughs> yeah, introduce yourself and tell them why you should be hey. the baddest B. And I'm like, well, first of all, and some, this one young lady, I say her teeth was so, you could see all of the you know the men's bodily fluids they just still st just stuck mm -hmm. just stuck up in there you can tell that the little hair out mm -mm, mm -mm. it was everything they was like yeah, sitting all up on she hadn't brushed and you talking about you the bad she a bad baby no no ma'am if you have on a beige dress and your teeth are beige the same color that your dress is it's a problem with that. So instead of trying to be the baddest B, come on, let's get yourself together. Go brush them and figure it out. Go get, go to school. Go get a book. Go get a degree. Go get a something. But I'm getting this contest. Go get your kids. Go get up. Mama got them. No, no, your mama don't have them because your mama she number five hundred and ten in the line. You number seventy two. Your mama at the back of the line and you at the front of the line. So ain't nobody. That's exactly what they be doing. I'm just like, oh my goodness, but we have definitely got to get it together because guess what? We have so much more to offer than being the baddest B. Guys, we're going to take a short musical break. Sure. And when we return, we have more hot topics to get into. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. You're listening to The J-Spot, where we are strengthening relationships and families. One conversation at a time. Yeah, they out there like, ow, just, I'm the baddest. I'm, I'm from, what was they doing? Show me. I'm, 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 I'm from Schenectady, New York. First of all. Go sit down. Go sit. I'm like, I'm sure your kids, and here's why I'm saying that. 
They had this Titus, and we're going to talk about this in our next hot topic. But, baby, you can see all, all of the railroad tracks. Just I'm like, Nassim, and these are fresh rail. I'm like, listen, go, go home. Change your baby's baby, camera. We like these railroad tracks. I don't have nothing for. Listen, I'm not against them. I'm just saying they have fresh ones. Get your them. in. Listen, I yeah, I just got the hospital like last week, and my baby only a week old. But that's right. Go back. Go care. home. Go home. There you go, judging. You always be judging us. Go your behind home. I don't want to go home because my man got the baby, so he told me because I'm the baddest chick. Uh, you smell the penicillin and all this other stuff. I'm just I like, did get my shot. I just came from the clinic. Mm -mm. And it's seeping all through the parking lot. I'm just like, oh, this is a... And a it was hot out there, too. I said, oh, my goodness. I would have... I would have... I was like, oh, this, this is a... And you know, ooh. You are such a hater. I am. I am to the fullest extent. I said, oh, they be like, oh, genius. What you up into? Nothing. I I, baby, it. I got lost. Just hate it. You want to audition? Nah, that's what you you want. That's why you hate me. <laughs> she mad she because I'm 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 thick. I'm stacked like that. I got it. I pow pow pow. I'm like um okay. Uh, I'm like okay. I'm like listen. The way me and this shoulder set up right here, you see all these all the burn marks while I'm birthday from the uh, from the uh, from the heat man. <laughs> She got literal burn marks on her. Woo! This is I put the pain patch on there and put the girl it was dumb and put the dog on heat. You all, if you use the pain patches, don't use them. Put the pain patch and then put the heat pad on there. And baby, I almost ended up in heat. <laughs> this show. <laughs> Woo! Hey, so, so, would should you leave me with your little babies? <laughs> Probably wouldn't. I'm a little out of touch with. <laughs> We, you know, we're caring for, you know, caring for the little ones. So, you know, listen, I can barely make sure I got my own stuff together. So I definitely would um, not suggest leaving them with the little kids. But definitely there are more titles that we have to um, strive for outside of being the baddest B. And, hey, I got my knees work. Because I'm telling you one thing, you're going to get to a point. Hopefully you get to that point where them knees ain't going to work like they used to. Like I say. Listen, I tell you, listen, I been out there on that west side back in the day, peeping in the in the TT bushes and trying to, you know, get, you know, I should have been, you know what I'm gonna tell y'all. I should have been a federal agent. That's what I should have been. I should have been a federal agent. I really, really missed my calling. But you know, I don't have the stomach for the gruesome stuff. And then, you know, I tell, you know, I like so if I they seized me in a drug bust or something going wrong. I'm gonna tell, like I'm gonna tell who set the whole opera. Not only am I gonna get fired, then y'all gonna put me on a list and you know just send me off and just like so that was not the career for me. So I'm just like, no, nah, I'm probably just you know be over here where I could just play it safe because yeah, no, I'm not gonna be 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. She usually has everybody's babies because you go and get these people's children. You yeah, like that. you like going. Come on, baby. I like, love the little Dave kids Chappelle too. Dave Chappelle and the Rick James thing. I love the little kids too, but you know, like I say, but I, I do have an age limit though. They gotta be at least two. They gotta be able to talk and tell me what they need, tell me what's wrong with them, and tell me, you know, that you're there. So I don't loop, so I don't leave you there, so I don't lose you. I need to change my stuff. Hey, T, I'm peeing your bed. See, now you get pushed off my bed. You peeing in my bed. Listen, now listen, I will let you have. Yeah, it's orange juice. Woo! Man, I'm thankful my baby ain't up peeing the bed. And my little son, you know, oh, she's so doggone grown. I love, hey, son, if you watch her, she be watching then, you know, until I get them talking crazy. She's like, hey, Tim, what was that you was talking about? And my mama told me to not listen to it no more. I couldn't listen to it. And she said she got the sudden spot. So we gonna, we gonna do a uh, sudden spot. But guys, we have to just, you know. Tim said working for the federal is fun. You should try it. Ooh. Would they have me? No. <laughs> They'd be like, Jay's fly, right? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you gonna get your. And where your friend at? Because we got some tra charges we're gonna charge him. <laughs> I don't even know that lady. Woo! <laughs> I'm a <stigmatization>. <laughs> Wait, no, just run my paternal, my paternal, uh, my paternal family name. They like, yeah, nah, you ain't getting up in here. Nah, 
Welcome back to the J Spot, where we are strengthening relationships and families one conversation at a time on intellectualradio.com. We are an iHeart station. I'm your host, Jay. Woo! And sitting next to me, we have my co host, my partner in crime, Sizzling, Sexy, Simply, E, Author, Actress, Businesswoman, Playwright. Sex King. Hey E, how's it going? Great. Good. Guys, we want to thank you all so much for tuning in. Please do me a favor, go to our page and like our page at the J Spot. Follow us on Twitter at J Spot. Also follow us on Instagram at the J Spot Radio. And J is spelled J A Y E for all three. Now listen, why you at it? Go ahead on right here, around the corner, go to YouTube, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at the J-Spot Radio. Again, that's J-A-Y-E. Tonight's episode is being brought to you by Two Level Up LLC. They are our two-bedroom Airbnb sponsor located right next to the United Center. You all, very, very, very beautiful uh, location, very, very beautiful Check them out. We'll have their link um, posted in our comments. We're also being brought to you by Dale, where Inky has his spring line, his spring t-shirts. Y'all see how I got my little sweater on my J-Spot sweater? That's how I'm going to have Dale wear t-shirts ripped all up. I'm going to have them ripped, and I'm going to be like, pow, ow, 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 ow. So listen, place your orders now. You know what, ladies? So we can rip them up together and just have them rolling on. Just ripped all up. Well, just rolling off the shoulder, you know, but I'm just, I'm going to focus on my good shoulder. So if this one over here, if y'all see me just doing this one like this, don't worry about it. It just got a little, it got a little stiff and I got to, you know, just go ahead on and hopefully it don't lock up or fall off. But, you know, I'm waiting for the new one to come from Amazon or eBay. I'm still looking for, um, I don't know what the color, my caramel or my peanut butter, coffee, brown, whatever color, you know, medium, mocha, whatever color. I guess you would coffee because since you like Love a coffee. coffee, listen, I need a coffee medium shoulder, you know, uh, hopefully in good condition. It ain't got to be brand new. I don't need no new one because, you know, this engine over here, this has been through the ring of a time or two. So I'll just take a, you know, a, a gently used uh, coffee shoulder in size medium. We're also being brought to you by BK the Barber. Tell them where they at. BK the Barber, he's in Texas. He is in Houston, Texas. Texas. Um, 3,000. Spring Cypress Road in Houston, Texas, 77388. And we'll have all of their links posted in our comments. And please use reference code J, and that's J A Y E. What else did you say? Delaware. Oh, I did. I said Delaware. I was just talking about the t shirts. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Guys, listen, thank you so much for tuning in. Now, listen, you all went in on this post. Okay, so it goes like this, and I'll paraphrase it. So the guy, his his girlfriend, girlfriend, she had a baby, and the baby was 12 weeks old. And he says that he loves his girlfriend, and he plans on proposing to her. He says she lost the baby weight, but her stomach is covered with stretch marks, and it's saggy. He says that it's hard for him to be intimate with her, because he's turned off by the stretch marks. So he's saying that he's offering for her to have surgery and he'll pay for it. But she's saying that she doesn't want to have a surgery done. That's a major surgery. So he's saying that he's not, he said he's to the point where he's just totally turned off and he's thinking about breaking up with her. He says that he'll be there for his child but just he won't be there in the relationship anymore and he won't propose to her because he's no longer attracted to her because of the stretch marks from the baby that she had for him. So he wants to know, is he wrong? Bama, I mean, so you all, what do you all think? Is this man wrong for not being attractive, attracted anymore to his girlfriend? He, he wants to marry her. Would upon the condition of her having a surgery to fix the stretch marks on her stomach after she's given birth to his child, 
Is he wrong for feeling like that? What are your thoughts, E? Is he? All you got to do is just turn the lights off. I mean, it's not that difficult. Like, look, if you flick the lights off. We all sexy in the dark. Look at that. Won't he do it? You flick the light off. Don't turn it on. Turn it, keep it off. Uh, keep it off while, you know, everything is going down or whatever. And we do our thing. And then it is what it is. And then, hey, now it is, if you turn it on, now you know what's about to you going to see. So let me flip my sheet on me. And then you can turn the light on and be like, hey, baby, how you doing? We good to go. See, I, you on Facebook, what do you all think? If you want to talk to us, chime in and give us your opinions or your comments, you can call us at 708-223-8953. Again, that number is 708-223-8953. Is this guy wrong? His girlfriend has had a baby less than 12 weeks ago. He wants her to have a surgery done on her stomach to remove and fix the stretch marks. She lost the weight, but it's her stomach. And he's saying it is a total turn off. You, the condition of your stomach is now a turn off to me after you risking your life bringing forth my child. Now I'm no longer turned off by the condition that I helped create, you know, for your body. But, but that's okay. So how do you guys feel about that? Is he, he wants to know. Am I wrong for not being attracted to her? Am I wrong for wanting to break up with her because she refuses to get the surgery done? Am I wrong? Well, Christopher, he says that he's a he's a bee. He's a female dog. And he that's what he's calling the young man. He's he's a bee. He's a bee. Well, here's the deal. Is he wrong? Yes and no. Okay. Yes, because it's your child. She gave birth to your child. However, is he wrong? Because, listen, people are attracted to what they are attracted to. Again, she risked her life for your child. She's your girlfriend. So my question would be, were you going to divorce her after she had your kid? And still ended up with the stretch marks. Like, I mean, fam, at some point, like, how deep is your love? Like, you have to find another way. Like, I get it. Like, I would I would be uncomfortable with that as well for myself. But to leave a whole relationship, to throw the whole relationship away because of stretch marks. For some people, it's, it's just that deep. Yes. Men are physical creatures. They are. But when they think about what a man thinks about, like, man, she liked this because she gave birth to my, my child. child. This is not my child. I can see. A little part of me can see if he got with her, he started dating her, and he saw the same stretch marks, but those ones from his kids. Then don't get in a relationship with her. You know she got stretch marks. It's not for you. You're not attracted to it. You got it. Listen, there's the door. Bye. But for the dude that gave her those stretch marks because of your waterhead, baby, and now you want to see head. your waterhead, jughead, baby. That's, that's a large headed child. Watermelon head, lemon head. Almond head, pecan head, baby, head that outside. she had your cantaloupe head, baby, that I mean, she had. Pecan head, because at least that would have been a small head coming by. Right, and it wouldn't be that let that many mm -hmm. stretch marks. Mm -hmm. But see, that was a watermelon size head coming up that, that she was carrying. Mm -hmm. So now, now you want to cry. I ain't attracted to her no more. I'm just not, I'm entitled to women anymore. So just like a little two year old, listen. Again, I can hear that from a dude that's coming in, and only briefly, because you ain't got to stay there. The dude that's coming in that looks and say, you know, I don't like your stretch marks. I don't like your cellulite. Okay, well, then listen. We don't have to. At least you know one thing is for sure. I'm a whole natural woman. I was born I was born with a whole cool, cool, cool. It's natural. It wasn't built up in there. The stretch mark came because I done pushed out the child that y'all behind stuck up in this because you probably poked holes in the condom if we need to. 
but now you want but now you want to get yeah, like so did you not th- my thing is did you not think of that when yeah. she was going through the like, when she get you watch something you got curious you was curious you was your, your wife your girlfriend whatever was gone to work you was decided you're gonna watch the tlc channel if that still exists and it was the burden thing you was curious all men tried as y'all curious and you saw how the woman is nine months pregnant. She got all these stretch marks that look like God Lee all on her stomach. And then she pushes out this baby, which you saw all of that in her coochie spread about that wide. You saw all of that. And then when everything goes back down, her stomach, some people get lucky. They don't even look like they popped out anything. But most of us, I'm one of them. It, I didn't get that. I, I got the stretch marks. And so it is what it is. So Either you love it or you don't love it. And if you don't love it, oh, hell well. It's someone out there that's going to love me and love this baby because I'm going to put you on child support and love this baby and take and you're going to take care of both of all three of us. <laughs> now, see, you know what? Now, when you describe that, now, I did actually see the whole coo coo coming, the baby coming out the coo coo oh. I was it, just it like, does. oh, I, I, listen, I was up in that ear. I was like, oh, my God. You had a baby. How you going? Right, but I didn't see it. That I saw my sister, one of my sisters, I was just like, really? Yes. I'm I like, cried. I thought that was so beautiful. No, I told her I owe her one. I'm like, I want you to see me butthole up and b- I owe really? her. I but, you know, we cry. way past that time frame now. So, you I know, like, you won't be getting nothing back from me. But, you know, but I, for years I said, I'm paying you back. You should go ahead and push that. The devil is a liar. Now, see, it was the most disgusting. Listen, it was 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 disgusting. I'm like, all of these cords and all of this crap just, I'm like, what in the world? I cried. I had watched, I helped one of my friends birth her. I was there for the first one. I had to leave. And then the second one, I I massaged her back and everything and put on the birthing ball and stuff. I stayed right there. Her no, was that there. was some disgusting mess. I'm like, I, I am not lady. doing that again whatsoever. Mm. That was just a disgusting it's mess. Beautiful. You know, yeah. happened, you know, seeing a woman have a baby to me. That was not. I thought it was beautiful. And then, like, my other friend, when she gave birth to her son, and her son's father couldn't be there. And so I was told her to get on her hands and knees and push him out. And she did. And I was like, oh. I'm and not volunteering. So, I will not be volunteering I, for no I mess cried. like that. That no. was just so beautiful. And no, I didn't ma'am. think I was gonna cry. I thought that was like disgusting in my mind. And I was young. I think I was in I was in my twenties when he, this other friend gave birth to her yeah. son, her daughter, her son. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. I was like, like I thought I was in television. You know, people be cry. I cried. I'm like the dudes how they was. I'm like, oh my, God. what? No, that's how I was. I didn't almost faint. I was just in utter disgust. I'm just like. What in now? I had already had my baby, but I'm like, what in the world is? Oh, jeez, I'm like, no. So, but menus, he's saying, do dead wrong. Number one is not giving her enough time for her body to recuperate from the baby birth. Give her time to tighten it up on on her own. And number two, he don't have to tell her what um what he don't want. Let me just work on it. Uh, I'm sorry. He said, you don't have to let her tighten it up. What do you want to do with her body? Hopefully, she'll get a clue and let him break up with her and sock child support on his hoo-hoo. You know what? Again, yes. I, I, you know, I just want him to, I need him to grow up. That's what I need him to do. I need him to grow up. I need some of, this sounds like this is a young, a younger brother talking like this. We need some of the seasoned brothers to come on. See, this is why I'm, you are your brother's keeper. This is why we need to go back to having the men mentoring the young men and the, the women mentoring the young ladies so that, you know, listen, it's not going to always be how it was. Listen, yeah. time, gravity, she going to get. So that means like, so when she get older, when you get older, so you get the, the bowling ball gut and your, your, your stomach start hanging over your pants. So is she supposed to let you go? Is she supposed to divorce you? You start losing your hair. Do you? Is she supposed to tell you to go get the hair, join the hair club for men or get that black hairspray that they be spraying, you know, when they go to the barbershop? Yeah, I'm telling it all because I done set up in the barbershop. I be looking like. Whew, some of y'all just need to let it go, brothers. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Because if your head is real shiny, 
and your barber, he's spraying all that black spray on there, we can still see the reflection. I just want to tell you, maybe your barber didn't tell you, but can I tell y'all, we still see the reflection. I'll be sitting up here doing my teeth like this in your head because I can see, I can see, um, I can see the grit in between my teeth from the shadow from that bound that beam off of your head from the um from the black spray so yes we can see it is he wrong again you're entitled to want what you want you're attracted to what it is that you're attracted to but again this was your baby that she had and you talking about leaving her up leave me because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna if something as frivolous as stretch marks is gonna cause you to leave me then we don't stand a chance i wouldn't i wouldn't feel comfortable going forward in a relationship with them let alone a marriage if something like that what is able to make you want to leave me he was going down Humorous popped out <laughs> now listen i call them giblets like listen now Listen, the the the, the giblets, the, the chicken giblets. Yeah, now listen, that's a that's a whole different ball game right there. <laughs> now you didn't say nothing about the you didn't come say out, nothing the about that. Now look, okay. The giblets come on out. The Plus he asked for too much. I mean, fam, she just got off of her six weeks. She just had a six week checkup, oh, and you talking about Go what on, you got? Like, like, oh, I'm like, that's a major surgery i mean maybe have her to just wear a waist trim it's other things i can't do it like and i've i've, I've thought about it i've contemplated back and forth because i was going to do it after i had the twins and being cut for just their c-section and i've never had a c-section before them that whole experience was enough for me like i can't do it like right. i just no, I just refuse to let you cut me. Like, no. And it's like he's not even looking at that. Like, dude, that's not a, just a, I'm going to stamp you or give you a, that's a no, whole that's a major whole surgery. surgery. Yes. That's like a whole major surgery. So now she got to have a major surgery and she has, she has a newborn baby. No. And who, so who got time? Like, who, who got time for baby? that? It sure ain't going to be your raggedy behind. You running from some stretch marks. So you going to take care of this newborn baby plus take care, care of her because her, she's got to be taking all care of her. All these open wounds, all these open incisions. But, I mean, I, I, I'm not attracted. Listen, go work Turn the off. lights on. Where just, me and, my, me and my fiance have never, and we've done it before, you, you know, a few years ago. But we've literally never seen each other in the dark. I mean, with the lights on. Jeez. We've never seen each other well, with the lights on. Learn today. So, turn the lights. I've always been like, I mean, I've been married and I've been in relationships before, whatever. And they've seen, well, I've only been with two people. But <laughs> they've seen through, through, with the lights on. But, like, we've never did that. So, turn the lights off. Lights turn off. Dude, you probably look like, you know. The rock or something with the lights off, but you turn the lights on, you might look like Biggie Smalls or something, and she might not want to see it without the penis. Right. Like, who wants to see that? Absolutely. So my thing is, if she wants the surgery, then let her initiate, you know, talking about getting the surgery. With, but as far as you essentially issuing an ultimatum for her to get a surgery, you know, a major surgery, just so that you can be attracted to her, I'm just like, listen, it, you know, it's not this... This man, this grown man situation, it requires a grown man to step up. And obviously, that's not true. So it's like, you know, again, you are entitled to want what you want. So if all the superficial things, if that's the only thing that matters to you, then you never deserved her anyway. So you're right. You leave her and you take care of your kid and she'll find a man that will love her and respect her and want to be with her in all aspects, flaws and all. He's going to, listen, he's going to be like, let me, let me, where that road map at? You know, let me kiss that road. You know. All it's so, roads lead to home. <laughs> right. Especially when they going down. Listen, they be like, listen, baby. Let me find that what, map. It's right here. Where them stretch marks going to take me? Listen. To okay? heaven, baby. So, but again, it just depends on the man. It's not for everybody. So if she's comfortable, then you have to learn to be comfortable with it because, Again, it's a child, and then it's a decision that you both made. So, yeah, so suck it up, fam, and stop being so selfish because that is definitely a selfish move. Like, oh, yeah, she, you, you can say that because you're a woman. Again, when your hair start falling out and you start 
Father's that time started knocking at your door. Your Are you going to want anymore. her to leave you? When your penis does not work anymore. Especially, it it's like, I'm, I'm just like, I, I just get so confused when we say that we love people, but then we can we can bail out over something like this. Is being sexually attracted to your partner important? Absolutely. Is that, and, you know, I've always, when I was younger, you know, I would see, like, the older couples, and I'd be like, wow, they're still together, you right. know. And when you get older, hell, you get old. And when you, you, you wrinkle up, you, everything, yeah. yes. Years get bigger, you know, so you got hair growing out of places, you know. And they just be together, and they just and be in like, love with right. one another. What like, keeps you attracted? Man, wow. like, I told you, like, maybe a month ago, the man that was um, in a restaurant, I went to get my coffee, he was like, you know, he loved, they had been married for over 60 some years. He was an old, so he was like in his 80s. And he was like, man, that's my baby girl. He was like, there was, there's nothing that I wouldn't do for her. And I'm just like, wow. I say, after all of these years, I said, you know, I was just so excited. He was like, we done raised our family. He was like, you know, she's not feeling well right now. He was like, but man, I'd do anything for her. I love her today like I did yesterday. I was just like, I want that type of love. I'm just like, know. you know, 60 some years later, and this man was a stranger, but to see how his face lit up talking about talk her, about that's how I'm like, know. I want somebody to feel about up, that. When you talk about this person and your face, like, and, the, and it's not like you putting on the front, like people can feel and they can see like, wow, you so happy with this person. And they feel it. They know it's the truth. Like, you want that. And I totally felt that, like I said, this man was a total stranger on the street, did not know him from Adams. And I felt mm -hmm. his energy when he talked about her. I felt his love. Like, I'm like, dang. I'm like, shoot, I want that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I want somebody to feel that no, way about me. me. I'm exactly. like, you know. So, fam, you got to put that to the side. I mean, it's superficial. But love, marriage, and relationships is mm -hmm. based upon more than just the physical. So, it's just like you have to find a way it's it's something that you guys have to work around it you cannot let okay well you know she's not getting the surgery so then that's the deal breaker and what happens when she has child number two exactly you have the bed you have the surgery okay she decides to have the surgery for you you all get married whatever she gets pregnant again you want to have another surgery right and, and then it's like now she can die. You know, she done had this major surgery. Now she's going to try to, now you pressing her. I want my son. I want me to, I want my, I want to have a little son. Wait a minute, fam. Make up your simple mind. See, while well, if you have this surgery, I'd be like, well, y'all down there. You might as well go ahead and cut these. Listen, you could take them. Listen, roll them like some dice because I don't need them over here anymore. But yeah, sir, that you are wrong for that like you have to grow up again you are entitled to you know want what you want sexually and be attracted to what you are attracted to but to throw your whole family away yeah that's a that's a you know yeah that's a that's a that's a childish move right there you all we're gonna take a short musical break sure. and when we return we have more hot topics to get into so stay tuned you don't want to miss it you're listening to the j spot where we are strengthening relationships and families one conversation at a time yeah that's like i mean come on you gotta you cannot go throwing away relationships especially if you're talking about you was about to marry her but now don't you don't want to i don't want to marry her because you got this stretch mark right there from a baby that she had for me so i don't want her she got stretch marks she gave she risked her life on that table you know, to, to give birth to my kid, now I want to leave her because her stomach is messed up. Her back is whatever it is that's messed up. Now, again, it's already hard enough. She the one got to live with it. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Listen, she got enough to deal with, so the last thing she needs is for you to be harping on her about getting the surgery. The baby is 12 weeks old. Listen, man, she could be dealing with postpartum depression and your stupid, your, your simple behind. I, 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 well, I'm not attracted to it. Get, grow up. Go sit down. Go, go listen, go just, I mean, it's so many other things that is going through her mind, especially with that being the first child. She's trying to figure out how to be a good mother 
and you try to put it on the table to get us sliced up some more. Mm. Get listen, sir. You have to really prioritize your organize and prioritize what things are most important to you. And yes, looks are important. I under I know, fellas, you may be saying, Jay, men are visual. I get that. I understand that's that. Turn off the lights. Curtis, what is Curtis Mayfield said? That's the whole sentence. So turn off the lights. Take the pentagram. And let's get closer. Okay. Yeah. See how he, he knew when she take out the clothes, I'm gonna see the stretch marks. So this is what we gonna we gonna play this real smooth, baby. Turn, the turn them off. He got real deep with it too. He's yeah. a turn them off. He knew when I'm we like, about to come out. Listen, he, he probably knew. saw her taking it off. She, yeah. Like, and then turn, turn, turn them off. off. Turn them off. Turn them off. Don't mess up his imagination. Turn off right now. Turn. In his mind, you got that Coke bottle, but when you turn off that light and you turn, when you keep the light on, that's why. He, that's why he said off, that. And that girl will come off. It's gonna spill on out. So y'all didn't know that though. Turn we just off. to tell y'all why he was, why he got so his voice got high pitched. Do this. He made a, he made a demand. At first, it went from a request. Like to a demand. demand. She was like trying to do her little strip tease like for him. This. And she taking the shirt off. He, turn, turn them off. off. Turn them off. Oh. When she took off them, listen, <laughs> when the bra comes off, the titties fall. That's just what's going to happen. You know, they sit up <laughs> nice and high. <laughs> when the bra comes, that's all the bra. When they come off, they... Five, four, three, two. Welcome back to the J Spot, where we are strengthening relationships and families. One conversation at a time on intellectualradio.com. We are an iHeart station. I'm your host, Jay. And sitting next to me, we have my co host, my partner in crime. Oh, let me get it. Sizzling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sexy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, simply E, author, actress, businesswoman, playwright. Sex kitten. Hey, how you doing? Right. I was trying to get my Teddy grass voice on now. Turn it off. Yeah. Turn it off. Yeah, turn I'm it work on, that's going to be the voice I work on next. Y'all going to see. But guys, let's want to thank you all so much for tuning in. Please do me a favor. Go to our page and like our page at the, the J Spot. Follow us on Twitter at J Spot. Also follow us on Instagram at the J Spot Radio. And J is spelled J A Y E for all three. Why you at it? Before you listen, before you don't, don't you touch that down. Before you go, go ahead on over to YouTube. Subscribe to our channel, The J Spot Radio. Please, thank you. And guess what? We're being brought to you by Two Level Up LLC. They are our two bedroom Airbnb sponsor located right, right next door to the United Center. You literally walk out the door. And guess what? You're right there at the United Center. That's just how close it is to the United Center. So definitely go um, check the link out. We have it in our comments. Book today. Use reference code J. That's J-A-Y-E. We're also being brought to you by Dale Wear Inc. He has his spring line out, guys. We're going to have our T-shirts on. I'm having mine ripped. I'm just going to have it. Just going to be like, clad out. Oh, we should have. Oh, that would have been a cute little event to have. A T-shirt in your paint hole. Panties on, even but now nah, see these folks don't know how to act, so we wouldn't be able to do that because you know they was. Listen, remember when the man came up for the uh, to the pajama party? Oh, <laughs> baby, so you know some okay. of some of some of us don't know how to act, so I don't know if I'll be brave yeah, enough to have no t-shirt, be road. Them draws, no, baby, t-shirt and no panties event. That would be cute though, but you know I don't know. We have to think about that one real. Listen, we have to have some security guys that be ready to. Fight like um Dave oh, Chappelle good. security was. So we have to check that one out. But guys, listen, we're also being brought to you by BK the Barber in Houston, Texas. Locate, get the phone number. Ooh, ooh. Oh, where's where it's located? To, go to Bookski. Bookski.com. You can uh book your um book your haircut. He's located 3000 Spring Cypress Road in Houston, Texas. And guys, we'll also have the link in our comments. Use reference code J, and that's J A Y E for all three. Wait, well, listen, listen. We got the link when it's saying some of us like the way you write your name in the sand with them saggy tattoos. <laughs> yes, well, listen, it's different strokes for different folks. Everybody gets attracted. It's something different about everyone that 
attracts <laughs> each other. So it's just like, okay, well, what may not be attracted to you is attractive to someone else. So, you know, it's just, again, know your partner and just know, listen, know their level of crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, you all, please, we have to do, listen, this is mainly for the younger brothers because I haven't really seen any it, any seasoned brothers doing this. And if there are any seasoned brothers doing this, listen, I want to literally pop them upside the back of their head if I catch a seasoned brother doing this. So there's a video circulating. Uh, uh, well, another video circulating. So the young man, he takes the young lady out on a date. So they go out on a date. So clearly... He has been pursuing her, you know, relentlessly to take her out on a date. So she agrees to go on the date with him. So at the end of the date, he asks for separate bills. And so she's like, okay, well, wait, aren't you going to pay for my stuff? And he gets to complaining that no, because you ordered all of this stuff and you didn't even think to ask me, you know, if I could afford this or, you know, how much, you know, was I planning on spending on you? He was like, you ordered the most expensive thing on the item, mm -hmm. on the menu. So I'm going to pay for my meal and then you're going to be responsible for your meal. And so she was like, how you going to act like that? You've been calling me and calling me trying to get me to come out. So now I finally decide to come out and you trying to play this type of game. And he was like, well, yeah, he was like, I wanted to take you out, but I didn't tell you I was paying. Now, you all, is he wrong for this or is she wrong? Who's wrong in this situation? Because he asked her, he said, I asked to take you out on a date. But help me and correct me if I'm wrong. But if you're taking a woman out on a date, isn't that implying that you're paying? Maybe yeah, that's what that implied yesterday. But you lose your mind, you know. I totally agree. In the world now, you just don't do that. Here's the deal, ladies. When you go on, fellas, if you asking a woman out on a date, it's implied that you are paying. If you know that you don't have any intentions on paying, please have that conversation up front. Like we're meeting. Don't say we're going on a date. Let's just say let's meet up here. Because see, now when you meet up. We're meeting up. We're not going on a date. So, I mean, that'll be, I mean... But he, his intentions was to take her out on a date. That was his intention. His intentions wasn't to sit up here and be used on the date. So, I mean, I'm in agreement with him. You know, you're not going to sit up here and lose your mind and stuff. Like, we're not doing that. You had that show. That's so disrespectful. And that shows how selfish you are as a person, period. Like, you, you we, we out here and we're on this date. Okay, get what you want on the menu. But damn it. I got a bill. I got bills too. You know, don't do me like that. We're not doing this. And you want to order all the most expensive stuff on the menu? No, nah, we're not doing it. She probably ordered her to go back too. We split. We splitting this. We gonna split this because so this you on his, So you on his side. I'm on his side. That's my boy. High five on you. We we go. Yeah, we splitting this. So listen, I actually um okay. So my thing is this: if you saw that. She's getting out of control with the, the ordering. I would redirect her. I would let her know before we before the end of the date, like, okay, you know, listen, I got other things going on, or like, listen, that's that's kind of out of my price, my price range. Say something. I ain't now, if nothing. she continues to order it, then uh, listen. Nope. You you knew <laughs> when you got you knew. <laughs> You, I'm a whole dude. My, my friend, call me a whole man. <laughs> I'm a whole dude. You knew, so this is what we doing. So either when, when if I pay for this, I'm getting some ass. I'm, I am. I'm. You gonna give me some head? You gonna do something? I'm gonna get broke off, and I'm gonna be pleased. And if it's got to be happening before this check get here, we go in this bathroom real quick and finish me. You know, we can do something so I can smile and be able to say, go ahead, swipe that card. But okay, but not, what about your bills? If your bills was truly an issue with me having ordered let me all this see what stuff. That, let me see what that mouth do. Okay, so what the, what the mouth got to do with you if still you know what is, it, is the mouth worth me done. paying this bill? Is it worth me? Let me, I got to test it out. Let me see. 
Let's go into this bathroom. Listen, first of no all, I say, fellas, let's I'm stop taking women places where you cannot afford to be. If you can't be there, like Martin said, and it's a thin line between love and hate, I wouldn't be here if I couldn't be here. So if you can't be there, then don't be there. That's exactly. one thing. But then, ladies, like it was, a, listen, order with what moderation. Right. Order how you would. Listen, if you, if you don't order you, with moderation, that's what I would say. I've never been the one to go out and, lose and try mind. to listen. I'm gonna order how I order, and if I see that the way I like the order, if it's a little bit too much for him, then I'm gonna scale it back because again, I'm not here for your meal. I listen, I know to myself, I make oh, shoot, they got some. Oh, that look like they shrimp or something. Like, oh, the, ooh, my God. Them scallops and them oysters that look so good. Note to self, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back, but I'm not about to sit up here and order all of this on your dime because the moment you start looking at me like I'm going home with you, now you finna see, exactly. I'm you because you're going to be real mad and you're going to be real salty at me. That's why I'm going to tell you one thing. the This ride share has been such a blessing to people like me. Because listen, you done spent, first of all, I'm not no expensive date. So you sitting up there, listen, they be like, you ain't gonna order nothing. They be like, you ain't gonna order nothing to drink. Listen, you no, I don't drink. They when they find out I don't drink, baby, they be like, listen, this date is over with. This wing's gonna be she gonna be sober. This get this bee out of here. Let me listen. Oh, get this. Nah, she she she's sober. So, We're so, in. Nope, that ain't gonna work with it. <laughs> so so you don't smoke either. You don't, this chick. Oh, so she. Oh man, I ain't. So now, so now I gotta get left. You know what I'm saying? Now you know. So oh, so now, so y'all need to make up y'all. Like, <laughs> girl, you know I'm at this. I'm on this date, girl. I don't order all this food. No, I don't get paid till next Friday. Cash out like hundred dollars, cause dude brought some knee pads for some reason, and I don't think I want to do that. So cash, don't worry, baby. Uh uh-uh. uh. I got I or, I got it. Well, I got these Ooh, knee pads. He'll be like, I got these pink pads. Don't even worry about the pads. I'm good. I'm on the phone. My mama, take her girl. Girl, help send me that. Shoot. Like, I done ate my, I done ate and drank myself into a lobster. I think what's that lobster? Girl, that was $200. I ain't even got it. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, you, you going to do a dash, dine and dash? No. I'm going to be like, babe, you know what? Let me go to the bathroom and freshen up real quick. Because I know what you, that's why you bought the pants. I got you, boo, because we about to do some freaky stuff. We be like, yeah, yes, man. I'll be like, thank God it's the bathroom window. Yes, man. I've been working out. I'm going to shimmy my big behind shimmy, on up. Shimmy, shimmy on up. <laughs> shimmy out. Like, wait a minute. Here's the address, Jay. Come get me. <laughs> Uber outside. Right, Ooh. right. Listen, it's that little black, that, 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 that black Corolla right there. Come on in. Get it, get it. You worry about that coat? I got that from the thrift store. I'm good. <laughs> It's so much, but I'm just like, you know, in this situation, I think that communication would have definitely been a key factor in this situation because if he has a certain budget, then that needs to be respected. But she's not going to know you have a budget unless you express to her, you know, what it is that, you know, what your budget is. And again, if she's one of those ones that's just out with you, for the meal, again, this is where I say, fellas, it's kind of more on you because you didn't go through the sorting process correctly. You just went through, because listen, y'all both had one thing on y'all mind. You had her end on your mind and she had breaking you off and getting something to eat on your dime on her mind. So y'all both had agendas and they both, and neither one of them required being in a relationship or getting to truly know each other. Y'all did it. Y'all was just there to meet up to get what y'all was both getting from the situation. And y'all both y'all both played yourself. I mean, so it's not she's not she's not wrong. You not wrong. You played yourself and she played herself because y'all came into a situation both playing games. James said he's so Dutch. Then he says, who ordered all that on the date? We, 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 people will order it. And then he says, non-drinkers are best. That's why bill be high. The bill is high when it comes to non-drinkers. But see, you know. How do the bill be high? 
the for non drinkers. I don't. Oh well, you know what? But let's see. Okay, so as this one I already said. I mean, steak and stuff. I'm not a steak person, but Let me show us some seafood. <laughs> Them crabs ain't got a prayer. <laughs> oh boy, you want to get this one? Show a crab, boy. I tell you, the crabs ain't got a prayer. They them crabs gonna see Jay like, oh, that's her. She done took out our whole family. Y'all sure run. Will. She's like, oh, I got you. <laughs> sure will, you baby. Want me to do what? what? It all. I don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. I'm Me eating put on my car. Eating an oyster, like. <laughs> Like, wait a minute, this wait is what I'm gonna throw. <laughs> <laughs> like, they made this out of my stomach. I'm like, he like, uh, so I ain't getting on. So, you know, you're gonna have to pay for it. I say, That's wait a minute. Great. Watch this. I'm like, you know what? Matter of fact, I got his too. And the ride, let me get on up out of here. Hey, you see, and I hate when they, when you start walking away, they try to pull, you start pulling your arm and start, listen, sir, you see this? This is the last time you're going to see me because I don't play these type of games. I see, you made me, I'm wasting money and time coming out here because I got stuff to do. So, fellas, you got to stop assuming every woman is coming out with you for a meal. Trust me, I'm, I said it once and I'll say it again. Look at her thighs. If you look at her thighs, you the real thighs, I'm going to say. The real thighs, okay? The real thighs. Look at the real thighs. She ain't missed a meal. I, I promise you. I haven't. So whether you take her out or not, she's still going to eat. So it doesn't matter. So stop thinking that, oh, every woman, she's just going out with me for the... Listen, she not missing no meals, fam. I'm not missing no meals. I ain't missing none either. Not, missing none. not a one. So if she's going out with you, if a woman is going out with you for a meal, it's going to come up in her conversation. See, gold diggers, they speak gold digging language. Y'all just got to be listening. But some of y'all don't be paying attention because you speaking trying to get the draws language. So that's how y'all end up at in, any, in these dates. And now y'all both looking crazy. So in those situations, y'all both get what y'all get. It's both of y'all fault. So I don't feel sorry for near one of you because y'all both put yourself in that situation. So play those stupid games and get those stupid prizes. And that's just what happens in those situations. So listen, if you just want something, look, say it. The, that you got women willingly going to the bad B contest. They out there. You don't have to waste your time, sugar. You don't have to even guess if you're going to get it at the end of the night. Honey, they practically sending it to you through the inbox in the, in the DMs. So you're wasting your time and energy. They just get, today, they just giving it away, honey. Giving it away. No expectations. They just giving it away. So trust me, chill out. Now, if you're not the one, <laughs> see dudes like this, that play these games, the women ain't giving it to them. See, that's why they got to go through all these games, see? Because, you know, you may be on a kind of, you got to get with your brother that's getting it thrown to them like that so they can teach you how to brush up on your skills so you ain't got to go through all of these, oh, well, I'm going to uh, make, it, make it seem like I'm going to take out and, and pay for the meal, and then I'll pay for the meal. Listen, you wasting your time. You wasting her time because I would be highly upset well you know i don't i bought that cranberry juice and i bought them them that that lots of tail over there so that's gonna be 75 dollars so um you ain't gotta worry about calling no you ain't gotta worry about calling no ride i i'll take you home when we finish when we finish what so you mean to tell me <laughs> so you mean to tell me this little whack and see, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start cussing. See, that's what's gonna start you happening. You gonna curse? No, I'm not. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna come in when you're on your date with this. Dude, I'm gonna start cussing. Call me and put me on speakerphone, <laughs> and I'm gonna say all the cuss words for you. So I'm like, so you done had me come down here, bastard, <laughs> and 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 order, and I, I to me, I felt like I was ordering modestly. I just ordered cranberry juice in my apple you know in my entree and and now you sitting up here talking about some don't worry about getting that uber i'll take you home to my the what <laughs> nah, <I> be <laughs> I be 
Wrong suspect, fam. Wrong suspect. Wrong, wrong, wrong one. I'm like, you know, listen, let me, matter of fact, let me order what else I wanted to do. Can I get me some doggone it? Can I get me some muscles? And can I get me some, you know, calamari? Can I get some extra sauce? Who you think paying for that? For, sir, you're dismissed from this. I forget. Why are you still even sitting here? Get a thousand, get a piece. Why? I'm like, why are you still sitting here? Can, can you piece. give me that to go? I'll take the check, please, okay? So you Just, must think your stuff is bigger than mine, huh? Oh, I'm, I'll sit them on the table. <laughs> I will sit mine on the table. Okay, let's the like I, I, I'll sit them on the table okay, because when them. you start acting, and then I'll be like, so what size underwear do you wear? Like, what you mean what size underwear do I wear? What size panties do you wear? Let me be more specific. What size? Because I'm going to send you a Victoria's Secret gift card tomorrow when I get home. Because this right here has felt real. Yeah, I See, like now that. then y'all like when y'all hating it. Now, now I'm wrong when I'm stuck. Now you're wrong when you now start you, talking about like that. you emasculated the man because you done pulled out your imaginary penis. Right. But and set it on top of his. I'll go stand right in front of him and unzip my pants and sit. <laughs> I got this right here. You ain't ready for I'm this. Like, you ain't ready for this right here. This I'm game. like, oh, you want to play these kind of games? Oh, I got you. I got you, fam. I got you. And that goes to our to our final hot topic, which they said. So now you're going out on these dates, and so now we got to be honest. People are meeting each other over social media and all these dating apps and things of that nature. So some women don't feel comfortable with meeting these men by themselves. So they taking their girlfriends or they sisters, they taking somebody with them. Mm -hmm. So, so should they, should the, who's responsible for paying for the securities bill? The young lady, so she got her friends with her and stuff. Who's responsible for paying for their meal? You know how you meet somebody new for the first time and y'all, you know, going out. No, I don't bring my friends on my dates. No, I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to text everybody the address. This is where I'm at. And that's that. Like, I'm not doing. Well, no. apparently, I think, and I think that this is a a younger, a younger 20, you know, I think this is a 20 something type of deal that's going on. This is a new <laughs> Phenomenon that the young ladies they're taking their friends. See, fella, but then if you're taking your friends, guess what? You're gonna pay for your friend. Exactly. So now, what I said was, I'm not opposed to you if you really are taking your friends for safety reasons. The dude should never know that they're and there. They're, they so across the way. Exactly. So if they're going, you going out to y'all find out wherever y'all going. So you tell your friends, but they're at no time during your date. Are they supposed to be there sitting with you on your date? That's just tacky. Fellas, if she's doing that, they just try to get a meal. See, but see, if she's she doing that now, he may think, oh, we having a threesome. Well, for the freak that think that then, whatever, listen, whatever freaky thoughts and you order all this stuff and you mess around and go home by yourself, that's on you because you assumed the, listen, you she listen. brought a friend. They ate. And you know what they say when you assume. So you listen. There, there you go with them stupid pride, the stupid game. You I get a stupid pride. You put stuff in your mouth, but I saw you put something in your and mouth. And I got something else that you're going to put hey. in your mouth. After. Lay me in the bed and give me some <laughs> air. <laughs> oh, so if you got somebody, so ladies, I'm not opposed to you bringing somebody exactly. with you. They just don't have to be on the date. You can have them outside. You can have them anywhere. But at no time is this man responsible for paying for Your the people that friends, you, you, you invited them. to come out because you don't feel safe. I get it that you don't feel safe. I would want somebody to come with me. So or at least you tell people where you at. But he ain't. Listen, you got four of your friends. What? Had I been a dude, I look... I'd be like, oh, this some see, mm -hmm. and I and I and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave, cause I don't have time for these Tom and Jerry type games. So fellas, you don't have to you don't have to accept this. That means that she not she not ready for whatever it is you trying to offer, and it's okay for you to not even involve yourself in that situation. If she don't find, feel comfortable, she's entitled to not feel comfortable. But you're entitled to keep your wallet in your pocket. I've never taken my friends on to me either. I'm text everybody and say this is where i'm at but i've never 
taking my friends on my date with me. No, nah, I've never, I've never. I'm like I said, I'm thinking that this is a new because these new people, these new people, they just doing a bunch of any and everything. Um, in today's day and today's day and time, and they're calling it dating. So I'm like, I don't know what these, you know. Again, talk to these brothers, talk to these young ladies. Like, if you have daughters, like, you know, nobody wants to be used. And I'm not saying use these girls because I have a son. So it's like, it's hard, you know, to explain to him why these young ladies are like this. Because I don't know why they're like, well, I do know why they like this. But it's just, it's, it's, it's really sad. You know, it's getting sad out here and it's getting really disappointed because... You know, everybody is out to use each other. It's just like nobody is out looking to build a meaningful relationship. Nobody is out, you know, really truly interested in getting to know each other. And it's like, unfortunately, you know, that's why the relationships are the way that they are. That's why the black family is in the state that it is now because it's so many games. Everybody playing games. Everybody playing games. Listen. There's a whole bunch of men that's looking to pay, play games. There's a whole bunch of women that are looking to play games. Why don't y'all get with each other and play yeah, games? Because it's just because it ain't fun <laughs> until you're deceiving somebody that you know that's looking for something but meaningful. So it I ain't fun. You just you intentionally try to play games. You know, I will run game when <laughs> when I see the bull. When I start to see oh this is straight some bull. I'm like and. You didn't tick me off in the bull because I've <laughs> asked you, like, what are we doing? You know, we're not, we're just kicking it or whatever, or this is not trying to lead to something. Just let me know what we're doing so exactly. I can just say, you know what, that I'm, I'm down with it. We could do whatever. But if you trying to run that little lot, I want to get to know you, sister, because you know you're so deep and deep, 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 and I feel like our souls connect. Ooh. All that bull right there, knowing that that's Ooh, not what you really believe, and then. When I peek the bull, because I'm one of the, I look at patterns. Everybody has a pattern, period. And when you try to run game or whatever, especially if you're a liar, you have a pattern. Yes. So eventually your patterns will start to catch up and stuff. And I'm going to just look at your pattern and be like, hmm. And then I'm going to tell Jay. I'm going to tell some of my other friends. <laughs> and they're like, Andrew, Did yeah. you know, come and talk about you. I'm going to talk about you. I am, you know, and I be telling them, if you really want to know how I am, watch the show because this is really me. So I'll send my representative like the first two times we on the phone, really. And then after that, she, my, she done left already. He, he is coming out. So just, just you know, I'm like that. I, I, I will run game when, when necessary. But like I said, I run game only when you have pissed me off now. And now I have to pay you back. In that order, because <laughs> again, do. it's so much that's going on. But it's like with just like said, whatever. Nowadays, again, just... all you have to do is just tell people because uh, you know most people are for the games. Most people are for the nonsense. So it's like you don't know, leave the folks that's looking for something. Leave them, leave them be, and go find you know somebody that's playing games. They're they're all you guys are all out there. So many of you all out there to pair up with each other. And I say let two gamers get with each other and listen. May the best man or the best woman win. That's how I feel about it. It's like we know it's not gonna be no casualties in that. It's gonna be a winner and a loser. Winner, somebody winner, else gonna have to tighten up on their game. But guys, listen, with that, we're going to transition into our topic for tonight, which is this situation that we were just talking about, the, the dating and should she pay and should he pay, it transitions to our topic tonight. We have to set healthy relationship expectations. So you have to let it be known, what do you expect when you're dating? When you're in a relationship, what are some things that you expect? Because some of us, our expectations are not healthy. They're not realistic. Some of us, like, a lot of, I, I, I'm seeing all these memes. Oh, well, what does he bring to the table? What does she bring to the table? And all this and that. So, for the men, you bring to the table. So, you're, you're, you're inquiring what does she bring to the table? But please make sure you bring something to the table too. Don't be the person that comes to the picnic and with just a case of water. 
Or you bring in empty containers. That's not going to sustain the family, just the case of water. So you got to bring more than the ping pong stick to the table. Well, see, sister, water is knowledge, you see. So therefore, I'm bringing you this water mm -hmm. to quench your thirst. Mm -hmm. Because see, we're in this hot sun mm -hmm. and you will get thirsty. Mm -hmm. But I still need some meat oh. with that water. I still need some carbs with that water. So we still need other things besides that water. So and then ladies, don't listen. You got to stop being offended when they ask what you bring to the table. I'm, I'm, I'm so tired of hearing that question. So I'm telling you, I just, the next table, I'm going to stand up on the table and I'm going to jump through it. Hopefully, I crack it in half because that's just how tired. So here's the table. I brought half of it. You brought half of it. Now, can we settle this? What do you bring to the table-ish? What do you bring? You have to, fellas, when you asking her that, you got to ask yourself, why am I, why is she even at the table if I didn't see anything mm -hmm. in her? Why, why is she at the table? I've never been asked the question before. Fellas, ladies, if you don't know what he brings to the table, why are you at the table? Because he's cute. If that's the only thing that matters because he's cute, that's why you at the table, then... Listen, you have nothing to build on. You have nothing to go on. Listen, when you're talking and you're getting to know each other, when you listen, when you're having that conversation, you know what they bring. So you don't have to ask them. If you're getting to know a person, you know exactly what they bring to the table. But if you have to ask that question, you haven't had the right conversation. You guys are not listening to each other. You should know what they bring to the table before you go on the first day. Especially if you in the 30 plus, plus, plus. Listen, let's just be honest now. Father time ain't on our side. Listen, you got more time behind you than you got in front of you. Listen, all them good, listen, all your good dating years stand out to three or four o'clock in the morning. That went, listen, I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take me a hot nap at about nine o'clock p.m. And I plan on waking up at about six a.m. That's what, that's how long the nap is. So I don't have much time to give you. Okay. So let's do each other a favor. Let's get that out. But we can talk on the phone we can you can do all of that so fellas when you're before you even going out listen to what she's saying listen especially nowadays the people that are and i'm not going to say just men the people that are not on much they're going to tell you what they looking for yeah i just want somebody that's going to be able to take care of me I love traveling, you know, so I want somebody that's going to take me traveling here, that's going to buy, you know, buy this, that's going to keep my <laughs> hair done, that's going to keep my nails done. If that's the conversation that she's having with you, and you still go out with her, that's on you. You now Because now you know. She's already told you. So nine times out of ten, that's still the same chick that's going to get there at the restaurant that's going to order all the double shots, that's going to order the most expensive stuff on the menu. But can you be mad at her because she done already told you? Like you done told her. You keep asking her, man, what's a, what size the, what size your what size your boobs are? You said when you, you got those done in Dubai or you got that done in the Dominican Republic? Oh, you Oh, for real? You got your you got your butt done over there. See, so listen, he's having that conversation. So you guys are having the gamers conversation. You guys are not having any conversations of substance. She's having a conversation on what she wants from you. You're having a conversation on what you want from her. And neither one of those things are healthy expectations if you're looking forward to building a relationship. That's just all game and all bull crap. So it's like to build from that, is that a realistic way to start a relationship where she wants she wants this from you and you want this from her? Do y'all want the same things? Like, is that a re realistic relationship when he's wanting 
the physical if she wanted his money or she wanted him to do something for her. Well, is that if they both want you know trivial stuff you know she wants some money he wants some you know some ass i mean that's a perfect little relationship because he got some money and she got the ass so and if they and if they if both they both jail on that then hey knock that's, yourself knock out. Your, knock yourself out but you can't be sitting up there saying that you're looking for a relationship or you're looking forward to being married or you're dating with a purpose but yet you're having superficial conversations you haven't even had the real conversation so again you don't know what they bring to the table because you can't get your mind off of what you're trying to figure out what her mouth do and you can't get your mind off of if you're gonna be able to you know put them on them real good so he can buy you one of these real expensive purses so again when y'all in that realm then whatever y'all get from that whole situation y'all just get that justin said that's the way it is no that's not the way it is that's the way it is for some people but we want to try to create and make it normal where the things that we start expecting from a relationship we have to start setting healthy expectations so again another example is if we both are working because there's some of these dudes like listen now she don't cook like my mama used to cook and she don't cook like my dear used to cook and all this and that well where do you expect her to be able to cook all those big meals when she at work eight to ten hours a day just like you are so you mean to tell me so she got to get off of her eight to ten hours just like you are y'all monday through friday she ate to ten you ate to ten every day she come home she get off of work you get to sit your raggedy behind down on the couch but she got to get in there make you this big old coarse meal got to clean all the dishes got to you know clean the clothes got to clean the house got to do all of that and she working why so how does that make sense uh, to me that ain't and oh i'm sorry you take out the garbage what Justin said there are some clean prostitutes out here that you can deal with and have a, have no problems with. Oh, I'm, I'm Justin. I'm uh, sugar. I don't know how you got prostitute. Okay, <laughs> well y'all, you know, prostitute on. But how is that fair? So with that, is that that would take? What well, I, I like to cook. I'm like I love to cook, so it would not bother me. But if I'm tired, you know, like dude, we're not doing this. And if anything, you see. Man, if you my my man, my mate, and you know that, okay, my baby work, I work. You know what? No, tonight I know you're tired. I don't expect you to make anything. Let's go out or I'll cook. If you could switch up and cook with me, bet let's do this. If, if you can only make a, a, a um peanut butter jelly sandwich, I mean, dang, do well. Don't give me no peanut butter because you're right. gonna kill me. But do that much. Make me a sandwich or something, and know that I'm I'm tired. I've been working. The people who work my nerve today. I'm tired. And I get that you're tired, too. So let's just, we ain't doing this tonight, you know? Right, because in a, in a relationship or a marriage that's set up like that, where both parties are working full time, then that's unfair for you to just sit up here and think that it's the wife's responsibility to handle all those household duties. And yeah. she has to contribute to the to the finances so when we talk about oh well my mama did my mama didn't do that well did your mama work a full-time job or did your grandma work a full-time job because nine times out of ten being a homemaker was your grandmother or your mama's full-time job so yes they were able to have dinner on the table every day they were able to keep the house clean every day they was able to keep your clothes clean and all this other stuff every day because that was their job and i'm not making light of that as being an easy job because it's not an easy job especially when you got rocky and kids running around listen mm -hmm. add that to the mix woo but you can't just say oh well i'm the man and i that's that's a woman's job that she can't but again this is stuff that you guys have to have a conversation about and set healthy expectations because that's not healthy for you to expect her to get off her 10 hours and now she got to come and do another five hours at home. But you sit back and you relax. That's, 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 that's not going to work. But some families, it might. <coughs> Rock out whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat. But 
what are some of your expectations in a relationship? So when you go going, going forward, especially as you make your transition into married life, <laughs> what are some expectations that you would think that one should keep in mind when moving forward to be in healthy, you know, committed relationships? What are some great expectations that one could have? I mean, an expectation is the fact that, well, not even expectation. Just know that I'm not superwoman. I'm not about to sit up here. I used to be. I used to be that woman that would, you know, run here, run there, do this, do that, and come home and cook all this stuff and do this, do that, and then have no time for myself. I'm not her no more. I, I love having time for myself. So know that I'm not that young girl. I'm not that 20-something-year-old girl. I'm not that 30-something-year-old girl. I'm just not. I'm tired, too. And I love spending time with myself and I love having some me time and stuff. And I expect that he enjoys spending some time to himself and having some me time and his, you know, his own time to himself too. But at the same time, I love being underneath of my man as well, you know. So let's be able to do things together. I don't want to ever be in in a relationship, a marriage, or anything where we can't talk to one another. I'm afraid of me telling you something because you may judge me in whatever way. I'm afraid to, though we've never seen each other with our clothes off, but still, <laughs> I'm afraid to show you my body because of whatever judgment or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not even that. I think it was more so just being nervous of showing somebody your body. Like, yeah, I'm grown now, so it's different. But when you're, when you've dealt with somebody or whatever, and it's your first time, whatever, I'm sorry, the movies are made up. It's make-believe. So you're not <laughs> in, you know, when you're first about to get down with this person, y'all ain't just balls out. You and know, don't hear that. <laughs> yeah. No, you, you cover, you know, yeah. You don't hear all so, that. Ain't nothing going on. <laughs> just know that let me get comfortable with you. You know, that's my thing. You know, and don't don't pressure me in some bull. That's Don't play mind games. Don't do all that. We're too grown for all of that. Oh, Lord. Yes, we are. And people will play mind games in marriages and stuff because they figure what kind of person that you are. And it could be a female or a male. It doesn't matter. Mind games is mind games. And if I feel that you're a weak person or I can, you know, pull this over on you, then, you know, if this person feels that way, then they'll pull, play that mind game with you. So don't, we ain't got time for all of that. And see, and that's a, a great point because I, I just want to add also, so it's like what I like to expect out of a relationship you know i expect love faithfulness loyalty i'm gonna need to be able to trust you in these streets okay mm. i want some fun some good laughter and you know what just know how i like my coffee just know Why? that's all i ask you know that's With that's just coffee. that's all i ask i don't ask for much and when getting those things you know i also expect for us to be compatible financially to be compatible sexually to be compatible spiritually and i'm gonna also add in another one too we gotta be compatible mentally because listen here's the thing we gotta be real mental illness is real okay and if you're crazy is all the way up here and man is right here. Now something somebody gonna have to give. You gonna have to eat them, you know, get some help and bring yours down here, or I'm gonna have to flip out and bring man up here. But either way it goes, we're gonna have to be on one accord mentally. So, you know, I just suggest listen, counseling, you know what? Therapy, you know what? Let's just make it a regular routine let's just make it a regular old family you listen family reunion put us up in there let's talk mm -hmm. to somebody so that they can help us but the most important thing that we have to remember is we gotta make sure that we're meeting each other's needs yeah so you gotta know i gotta know what you need you don't assume ask them let's ask each other what do you need what do i need no. <laughs> but after that said, so is that all you need? Yeah, just about once a night. You know. So, but what else do you need besides that? You guys have yeah, to discuss. I need. I'll make sure this whole the roof. Then, then so you go, I'll she go to good. sleep. Then after that, you like, okay, well, that's what he needs. So now when am I going to get what I need? I'm about to go through the roof right now. Like, it's like, so 
communicating that. Communication is so just being able to communicate because you have people are, who are in relationships and like they don't even talk on the phone they don't know how to talk on the phone or they don't know they get into the space with one another and they don't know how to talk to one another they're afraid to talk to one another you know i i can say i'm a talker jay's a talker and even in our relationships you know jay has talked you know with her guy on well her old guy on, on the phone they talk all the time whatever when they were and I talk with my guy, we talk all the time. So we can't have that in the beginning. And now we get into this situation, relationship, or whatever, or marriage, and we're in the house together and we're not talking. Then what the hell was the point? Right. And that and that's the last thing that you know you will want to see happen. It's just like you have to keep the lines of communication open. And you know what? You just got to keep it fun. I mean, like, if your relationship or your marriage is just so uptight where you guys don't have any laughter and any fun with each other, it's just like, oh, my God, like, something is not right. Like, something is not working. If, we, if you can't laugh, find something to laugh at me about, I can't find something to laugh at you about, that means it's some things that we're not quite comfortable with each other with because, you know, we should be able to talk and laugh about anything. So it's just like, but communication, that's where it's going to start to setting these healthy relationship expectations. Tell them what you want. Tell them what you want. Tell them what you need. Tell her what you need. And listen, you can't tell him, oh, well, you don't need that. You can't tell. Listen and find out what things are you guys able to do together to make the relationship work, to make it healthy. But one person should not be getting all their needs met. Mm -hmm. And the other person is sitting up here building resentment. Now they're looking for a way out or they're looking for somebody else's shoulder to cry on because they're not getting their needs met. Whatever needs that may be, it's not always sexual. It's not always sexual. A lot of times it can be emotional. He's not complimenting her enough. The dude at her job always telling her how nice she looked. Mm -hmm. So now you start gravitating and you start dressing for him because that's where your compliments are coming from. But when you start feeling like your man or your dude or whatever, you're not getting what you need. Before stepping out, communicate, 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 communicate. And if it's not getting through to them, then you make whatever decision that you have that you feel is going to be what's best for you. But don't step out and try to, you know, get somebody else involved in it because bringing somebody else involved in your relationship ain't going to do nothing but make things worse. So we want to focus on setting healthy relationship expectations and that starts with the both of you coming together and having a conversation and discussing what's going to work for you exactly. and yours so guys listen we want to thank you all so much for tuning in please do me a favor go to our page and like our page at the j spot follow us on twitter at j spot also follow us on instagram at the j spot radio and j is spelled j a y e for all three but before you go go to youtube as well yes. <laughs> and subscribe to our youtube channel at the j spot radio and that's j a y e until next time you all good night peace out peace out peace out good night good night good night oh yeah oh yeah wait a minute mr postman good night guys thank you yes there we go yep that's uh yeah